So a little challenge I sometimes like to give people um, is very simply just to ask that you put your hands out like that. You can try this wherever you're sitting. Um, if you could just put your fists out like that. Okay, put one thumb up and the other hand put the other pinky out like that. Okay, easy enough. All I want you to do at this point is swap those over like that. Okay, now look at your hands. Um, you may have found it a little bit tricky. If you have been able to do it, see how many times you can swap them over like that. Okay, some people, most people find this very, very difficult. Now, not for me, I find that really easy. I can, I don't have to look at it. I can do it quite quickly without looking at it. And the reason I'm really good at that is because I was born with a little natural gift or ability to be able to do that. Um, that was a lie, I obviously don't have a genetic ability to do that. The reason I can do that is because I practiced. Um, if you were to spend five minutes practicing this every single night, I'd like to think you've got better things to do with your time. But if you were to do that, you'll be able to have it by the end of the week, no problem. I make a very simple point that to get any sort of success in life, we have to be able to put in time and effort. If we can find time and put in effort, really what we're capable of doing, there's, there's really no limit to it. And this is what we call a growth mindset. Essentially, if you have something that you're looking to do, it could be learn a new language, maybe a musical instrument, uh, maybe you've been trying to go for a promotion. Imagine if you could devote one hour of your time every single night, or maybe even just Monday to Friday, one hour a night into that thing. That's five hours a week. That's 20 hours a month. That adds up over time. Would you be closer to your goals if you give something 20 hours a month of your time? It's a no-brainer. A lot of the things that I talk about aren't rocket science, um, but what we find a lot of the time is when it comes to things that are common sense, common sense isn't always common practice. So having the right ideas and positive thinking is great, but it's time that we turn this positive thinking into positive action. Not just think about the things we want to go and do, but actually go and do the things we want to go and do and make them happen.